we are stranded at Cinema Wild Yala. We are completely overlooked the fact that we would need a tuk-tuk out of here. I thought they would be able to arrange one for us, but they don't. They said they can do us, get us a minivan, seven or 9,000 rupees, depending on what the guy said to that on the phone. I'm thinking we just walk out to the road. The walk is three and a half hours. A tuk-tuk will come past at some point and save us. I don't want, I don't want to pay 7,000 rupees. It only cost us 3,600 rupees to get here. And we've got to wait around for 45 minutes. I have been given a tuk-tuk number, but he's very busy at the minute. This is the fourth time I've tried him. Yeah, man, she's far too busy for us. I'm thinking we just put our bags on and man it. Get, our, get ourselves out there, start walking the journey. Okay, my plan is go out to the main road. I'm thinking there's tuk-tuks driving backwards and forwards down that main road all the time. People will be getting dropped off by tuk-tuks. So there will be a tuk-tuk there somewhere. We just gotta hope we find him. Hope he stops for us. It's a good plan, I think. It's a good plan. It's not too hot. <laughs> We're gonna make it, it's all good. The only worrying thing is, there are leopards here, and there was a leopard sight in here two days ago, and we're just walking around in his habitat with our bags. I'm, I think in the middle of the day, he's gonna be, he ain't gonna be out in the sun, he's gonna be chilling. We're gonna be fine. So there we go, our saviors. They've offered to give us a ride. They're um, delivering like cheese and milk and stuff, so they're going past where we're going. All works out. Our saviours. See, it's all good in the end. Perfect. We're here in Tissamahara Maya. Oh, easy as that. 3,000 rupees compared to 9,000 we were going to have to pay. Really nice people. Let's go and find this bus stop. We, we nearly got on three wrong buses. This, this guy here. Hey, man. <laughs> this guy helped us. He saved us from getting on the wrong bus twice. And another guy helped us another time. So, I'm uh, so thankful for these people, man. Seriously, they're so friendly out here. I love it. Marissa, 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 this water is not cold. It is like bath water, literally, and there's crabs and fish everywhere. It's sick. Check this out. They all sea urchins and a huge shoal of fish. We are just going down over there try and find some cheaper places for lunch. Those first places where you first come onto the beach, like Marissa, they're, they're quite expensive. We're just going down the beach now, trying to hunt for some cheaper alternatives. Obviously we're porous. This thing as well, earth pack. Hey, that, this thing works perfectly. I was all the way out there earlier. All my stuff in there, completely waterproof. It's a great buy. I would definitely recommend getting one of these. It means you haven't got to leave your stuff on the beach and keep an eye on them, you know? That always, that, that always annoys me. So you've got to keep an eye on your stuff and you're kind of limited to where you can go. We've just basically swam the whole way. Well, I say swam. <laughs> we walked 
We've been right to the end of the beach. I can tell you that it does not get cheaper over there. I think where I had breakfast this morning was probably the cheapest place by the looks of it. Uh, they got $50 whale watching here, by the way. I think there is somewhere you can go here and stand and just and sort of watch them from the shore. Door ahead, door ahead, apparently. <laughs> to this really nice restaurant last night. Um, I'm pretty excited to show you. It was so good, seriously. The food was so nice. It's called uh, Ambrosia. I'll show you, it's, it's good. Do not be put off by that old sign. Oh, there you are. Where are we going then? Um, we sit on this side for a change. Chicken spring rolls. Now these may not look like much, right? But these are so good. And they give you these sauces too. You've got like sweet and sour sauce. They call this yum yum sauce. That's like a coconut milk sort of sauce, mate. But they are so good. This is unbelievable. Honey chicken, mate, that tastes so good. The flavors in all of this food, even noodles, man. It noodles, you think, oh, that's a bit boring, but mate, it's got so much flavor. And um, we've got chicken kochu. The food in here is next level, but the service is also up there. They're so nice in here. They're so kind. They're so friendly, and they re they really want to make sure you have a good time. It's honestly ten out of ten. This place, ten out of ten. All right, we're now on our way to Welegama. Welegama. We're gonna walk there. See what the prices are like there, see if it's any more any more affordable over there. Uh, it's quite expensive here in Mirasa. We've spent uh, around 60 quid in the last couple of days just on food, really. Yeah, we just need to find the way out. I think the way out is over here now. This is incorrect. Gamma Beach. It's not as really as nice as Marissa and it's not any cheaper either. It's still not a bad beach as far as beaches go. Marissa's definitely the way to go. Although Nat has found a nice little place that does food and drink. Which is pretty cool. I like I like where they got my beach. It's not as like uh, visually pleasing. No thanks. It's not as visually pleasing. You know, it's not the perfect stuff looking beach. But yeah, there's a lot of sports going on. There's all, all locals playing cricket and uh, volleyball. It's nice for sunsets. Yeah, it's nice for sunsets as well. Goodbye now, Wellagama Beach. I think we're actually going to walk back. Awesome views. Amazing. Buenos dias from Marissa. We're just heading over to Coconut Island. Is that what it's called? Coconut Island? Yeah. Hey, one thing I saw online before I came here is that the tuk-tuk drivers are real pushy in like touristy areas like this. I don't find that at all. I, in fact, the, the tuk-tuk drivers don't even say hello to me anymore. They only say hello to me. They always ah. talk to Nat. 
Lovely. All right. Okay. Have a nice day. So. Yep. Yeah, I don't even think they're very pushy. Uh, just a little bit of info there for you if you need it. Beautiful morning this morning. I'm just going to quickly tell you about the room. The hostel we're staying at is called uh, Boho Gardens. It is £11 a night. There's air conditioning, queen bed, shower works fine. Everything works, it's all good. The only negative to that place is that they have music playing until around half 11, 12 at night, every night. But other than that, perfect spot. It's in a really good location. I, I would recommend it as long as you can sleep with a bit of loud noise at night. It, it's not that bad, but, but some of you may find it annoying. Uh, we've been very silly so far. I've just found the mother load of cheap breakfast. Check this out. Sausage bun, egg bun. I've got the last two here. They're nice as well, them veg rotis. Sausage rolls up here. Look at that. Look at that. Definitely going to be coming here from for my breakfast for now on. 200. 200 rupees, that's 50p. I'm not going to get breakfast again apart from this. Okay. I've got a whole egg in each one. Look at that, mate. You get a little bit of onion in there, make it taste nice. I don't know what that is. It might be chilli. It's chilli. Is it chilli? Yeah, go and scoff it. it. You should have asked for some ketchup. That is all you need. Look. There you go. And the price is inside. This is like a Greg's. A Greg's, but nice and cheap. Nice and cheap. <laughs> oh, the egg buns are more expensive here. Yeah? Thanks. Bye. Well, how much was that? Uh, I can't that. What? You've just bought it. That was. What do we get here? I got a egg, egg something, egg sambal something, and then a creamy. I oh know. What did I get? Creamy chicken. The egg buns are better. Two egg buns are the same price as this. This is basically just pastry. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. What's in it? It's pastry with egg and it's got like some Sri Lankan sambal. onion. Was it sambal? Sambal. On closer inspection, this chicken thing is actually very nice. When you get when you actually get to the filling, it's, it's actually well nice. 40p. Right, we've been so dumb getting fucking meals. This is what we just need stuff like this. This is fine. We can survive on this. Budget. We're poorists. I just want to take a second just to thank everyone who's supported us so far, who's given us the likes, the comments, any any subscribers. Thank you for that. It really does help with the algorithm. Um, I don't really do the whole asking for subscribes and likes and stuff. Everyone knows what they like. If they want to subscribe, they're going to subscribe. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on doing it and uh, I hope you like it. Peace out. I literally can't believe it happened to me. Um, I'm normally so, so careful with my stuff. A bit annoying. Warning to all of you, especially in the tourist areas, make sure your stuff is in a zipped up compartment. Oh, nice. Get a little <laughs> Fucking bit me!